This is a demo of Web Services high test application. First, let's create a new session profile. Let's select a session type Web Services. Set the URL to the visible file. Uh, there is an optional endpoint. If no endpoint is specified, then it will pick up endpoint defined in the visible file. There are a couple of more options. Authentication. We don't need to set it for this demo. And HTTP headers. <coughs> we don't need them to this for this demo. Let's start the session. Okay. This is Web Services Session Window. This tree shows the services and operations defined in a visual file. Let's select one of operations. Here is Request Editing section. User can select a transport type to be used for this request. Available transports are defined in a visual file. Here is a endpoint selection. Uh, by default, it picks up endpoint from the session profile or from the visual file if uh, there is no endpoint defined in the session profile. Here is the tabs for editing of request properties and attributes. A table tab is uh, for editing uh, request parameters. This tab shows parameters uh, defined for the selected operation as a tree and the user can enter values for parameters. This tab shows the SOAP envelope for the request. These two tabs are synchronized when user edits something here the changes are going here and then when user makes changes here this tab is updated. There is a tab for authentication properties we don't need them for this request and for HTTP headers. Let's send our request. The response section has two tabs. The response tab, which shows the response. HTTP headers tab, which shows the HTTP response headers and the textual representation controls. Web services application automatically detects the type of the response. If it is single value, set of name value pairs or a table. If it is one of those, it parses the response and outputs parsed response here. User can always select raw XML response if he don't want response to be processed. If this checkbox is on, then response contains SOAP envelope. User can also check include HTTP response headers to have a textual representation of headers in the response text. Here are the headers. <coughs> 